Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me here at Card Creations by Lorraine. Today we're going to put this greeting card together using the freshly picked Cricut cartridge. I'm ready for spring so I thought I'd do a pot of flowers. So we'll go ahead and get started. And the flower pot that I cut out is on page 33. And I'll set this aside and show you how I put this card together. I did it a little bit different than uh, what the book showed. That way I could have some dimension to the card. And what I've done is I went ahead and welded two of the pots together. And of course you'd have to flip it in order to have the two pieces fit together. If you don't have uh, a Gypsy or a Design Studio, you can always attach it with a brad once you complete your card. You can um, maybe attach it down here at the bottom, and that way your card will flip open this way. Move, you'll be able to move it up. Okay, so we'll set that aside, and we'll start with our... Uh, I actually cut an additional piece. That way I can stack this on top of that to make the color of my pot with this stripe paper. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is attach this piece, which is the rim of the pot. And I cut everything at four and a half. So this will go right here. <clears throat> so go ahead and add some adhesive to that. Finally I get to make a card. I've been doing some other projects and decided it's time to make some cards. So we'll go ahead and add this piece here. Okay, now on the layer, which is, let's see, I cut the layer, which are the flowers, and uh, I used my markers, uh, my black marker to outline that. And then you also had these pieces here, which I didn't really care for. These little star looking pieces for the center of the flower. So I went ahead and just got a very tiny uh, circle punch and cut those out for the center of the flowers and attached the uh, green um, rhinestones to the center of the center flower. Okay, and I cut two of the purple pieces. Uh, that way I could layer them and since my colored paper um, would show underneath I went ahead and cut two pieces of the purple and that way I could attach the purple to that base and then add this on top for the layering. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is add my, let's see, I think this goes on next. So we'll go ahead and attach that. Okay, I'm just going to add some adhesive to the back of that layer, just right off camera, since I can't reach around very easily. So I'm just going to okay. So we'll line this up and attach that. Make sure I got it exactly where I needed. I don't want to put my head in the camera. Okay, so we've got that and next we'll have to attach the leaves. Now I've cut two layers of the leaves and uh, the bottom one is uh, a little bit larger than this top layer, not by much, and then this will go on top, but uh, for some reason I didn't like the look of that, so I chose to just go ahead and add um, the leaves that are cut out in the center of this overlay and attach it to that. But I'm going to go ahead and add this next. Let me see. And uh, attach my leaves. Oliver! Oliver! 
my dog's starting to act up. Let's see. We'll go ahead and add this on here. Just move it over just a tad like that. Oliver, let's see. I hope it didn't go that way. Nope. Okay, that goes right there like that. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and add our leaves. And I'm going to use some adhesive for that, liquid adhesive. I'm just going to kind of position that so I know where my leaves go. Let's see, that one goes on that side. Oliver, come here, Ollie. Oh, boy, kids. Let's see. I think this goes. I'm not sure where this one goes. Looks like. Just add it right there. Let's see if I can kind of see where they go. Didn't really mark them. Oliver, what do you do, one buddy? Oliver. Come on. Come on, Ollie. Stay here. Okay, we'll add that there. Come on, Oliver. Okay, and we'll add the last leaf. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is peel back this uh, backing on the foam tape and I did uh, add two layers so that way it would sit up high enough to go over the single layer of uh, foam tape that I added to the leaves. Okay, and then we'll just line that up. Ta-da! Cute! Okay, now this little sign is on the same page, and I cut this at uh, the white I cut at three, uh, one and three quarter inches, and the brown I cut at two inches, and then I just removed the uh, the post on the white, and then I wrote hello on that. So we'll attach that uh, after we add this to our base card. Okay. I'm going to move this over so I can see better with the white underneath. And see, that'll go right on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I need to open it up. I think that'll be easier to add to it. Okay, so I'm just going to add some adhesive off camera. Line up the bottom first, and hopefully, everything else will line up. There we go, looks pretty good. And then, the last thing we need to do is add our little sign. Actually, I have a little butterfly to add, also, and I'll just add that right about there. And then I cut this little butterfly out of one of the Martha Stewart punches. You've seen me use this before. And I'm just going to add that right there. So there we go. I love making cards and this one just reminds me of spring. And I thought I'd share it with you. So I'm just going to add those right there so you can have a better look. Maybe if I have it in the lens of the camera. And there we go. Thanks for watching.